worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Lord, have mercy. Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Lord, have mercy. you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you do we ascribe glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Grant this, O Lord. 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 Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord. To you, O Lord, for you are the God of mercies. Your and love for mankind and truly give glory, Father, Son, and Holy glorified. Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Irini Pasi, peace be with you all. To you, O Lord, let us pray to the Lord. O Holy Lord, you dwell on high, and you see the things below, who will look upon all creation with your overseeing eye. We bow our soul and body and pray to you, O Holy of Holies. Extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sin willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you, our God, show mercy and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Blessed is Christ our God, always, now and ever into the ages of ages. Lord, have mercy on me. Most holy Theodoko, save us. For I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. For you are my God. For you is the our true God who was born who was baptized in the river John, in the river Jordan by John for our salvation. Christ, our true God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, of the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, of the saint, Mark the Evangelist, the patron of our church, and of all the saints. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. May the Lord God you steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you in his kingdom always now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Amen. Amen.
Blessed is the kingdom, ευλογημένη η βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord Above our, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for those who are entered faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexios, the honorable president of the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For fable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. To you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. In the exodus of Israel from Egypt, the house of Jacob. <laughs> Judah became his sanctuary. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Thus he saw them and fled, and Jordan turned back. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. The dangers of Hades of me. So, so ni masi ebeu, o eni o danu ipo i o anu baptistis. Salam dasi alleluia. Doxa patrikeo, 
και ο πνεύματι και μην και αίσθη σε όλα στον αιώνα να μην. Ο και λόγο του Θεού αθάνατο υπάρχουν. Έκατ' αδεξάμενο διάτριβη με τένα σωτηρία. Σαρροδίλε εκ τη Αγία Θεοτόκου και αλλιπατένου Μαρία. Αντρέπω σε λανθρωπή σα. Σαρροδί σε Χριστέο Θεό. Θανάτο, θανάτο, πατήσα. Ισον τη Αγία Τριάδο. Συντοξαζόμενο στο πατρί και το Άγιο Πνεύματι τόσον ημάς. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, give us grace, Help Father, us, coming. save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, Maribos, holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and on to the ages of ages. Host an angel to our angels, to minister your glory. Grant that your holy angels may enter the way together may serve and glorify your goodness. For to you be the Lord, glory, honor, and worship. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. The worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the Father's voice, for your witness, by calling you. And the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the truth of the Father's word. O Christ, our God, you have appeared to us and enlightened the world. Glory to you. Sophia. Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν το όνομα τη Κυρίου. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Save us, O Son of God who was baptized in the Jordan by John. We sing to you, Alleluia. When the angelic powers appeared at your tomb, and those who guarded you became as though dead, and standing by your sepulchre,
testimony of the Lord a forerunner. You have proved to be truly more venerable than the prophets, since you were granted to baptize in the river the one whom they proclaimed. Therefore, when for the truth you had contested, rejoicing to those in Hades you preached the gospel that God was manifested in the flesh and takes away the sin of the world and grants to us the great mercy. <laughs> to Petrus in Ephemos, Kekinonos, Ianos, to Lobo the Akonos, Kehipopitis of Lord, Sotiros, Evangelion, Pion, Bargel, Via Paratis, Osuranios Mistis, Dio Evangelista, Sepulchre. Simon que sit in lux and an abomen, to Patrick que tu y o que tu a yo penev matinin que ahí. Es tu se onos to ne onos. Amen. 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 Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and body, and grant that we may serve and worship in all days of our lives by the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you are holy, our God, and to me give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you in the glorious throne of your chair, who is seated by the chair, and always now and ever to the age of ages. Amen.
the righteous shall rejoice in the Lord. O oh God, hear my cry. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let's be attentive. In those days, while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper country and came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples. And he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, No. We've never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then were you baptized? And they said, Into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who is to come after him. That is Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hand upon them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. There were about twelve of them in all. And he entered into the synagogue, and for three months spoke boldly, arguing and pleading about the kingdom of God. Proskoman, efrantisete dikeos en kirio, isakuson theos tis ponismu. Sofia, praxion ton apostolon to anagnosma. Sofia Proskoman, en tes imeres ekinas, egeneto en to apollo ine en Corinto. Παύλον διελθόντα τα, ανωτερ, τα ανωτερικά μέρη ελθύνης Έφεσον. Και ευρών μαθητά στην Άση είπε προς αυτούς, «Η πνεύμα Άγιον ελάβετε πιστεύσαντες» ή δε είπων προς Αυτόν, «Αλλου δε ή πνεύμα Άγιον έστι ακούσαμεν» είπε τε προς αυτούς, «Εις τι ουν ευαπτίστητε» ή δε είπων, «Εις το, εις το Ιωάννου βάπτισμα» Είπε δε Παύλος, Ιωάννης με ανεβάπτησε βάπτισμα μετανοίας. Το λαό λέγον εις τον ερχόμενον με ταυτόν ή να πιστεύσωση του τέστην εις τον Ιησού Χριστόν. Ακούσαντες δε βαπτίστησαν εις το όνομα του Κυρίου Ιησού. Και επιθέντος αυτής του Παύλου Τασχήρας, ήλθε το πνεύμα το Άγιον επ' αυτούς, ελάλουν τε γλώσσες και προφήτευον. Ήσαν δε οι πάντες άνδρες ως η δεκαδίο. Ισελθόν δε εις την συναγωγήν, επαρισιάζε το επί μήκος τρεις διαλεγόμενος και πείθον τα περί της βασιλείας του Θεού. Ειρηνήσει, peace be with you, the readers. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory time John saw Jesus coming toward him and he said behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world this is he of whom I said after me comes a man who ranks before me for he was before me I myself did not know him but for this I came baptizing with water that I might be revealed to Israel and John bore witness I saw the Spirit descend as a dove from heaven and remained on him. I myself did not know him. But he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and I have borne witness that this is the Son of God. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel and all of you. Again, we bow. 
bow before you, our loving God, and ask that you hear our prayer, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress and life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, become worthy of your heavenly kingdom, and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. O possible to gratus, quando te fila to meni, si doxana na pembo men, to patri ke to io ke to aio pnebmati, ninke aji, ke su se ona so ne ono. man without alteration or change. You have served as a high priest and as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice of the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit to have vested with the grace of priesthood. I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. You I come with bowed head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ our God, are the offer and the offered. To one who receives and is distributed, to you we give glory, together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother bear me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you are no delight to sacrifice, for I to give up our offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, your pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullets upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O oh God. Save me.
Pando ni ni si kirios o theos, en di vasilia aftu pando te, nin ke ahi, keisus eonas ton eonon. Potes drepti mare tori lo creștin sa va pomenia scandon uli domneze un tru empa rasia se to adede uana cume si poriele iașen veci veci lore Dogos bog bog spom iene cvena cu car vo svoie Svada, sada i uvek, i u sve veku El Señor Dios te cuerde do nosotros, en su reino entrenamiento ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Bullock shall be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. May the Lord God remember your priesthood in his kingdom. The noble Joseph taking down your most pure and spotless body. And wrapped it in a clean linen chapter. Lord our God, remember the Akinet in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I per tuo iuico tu tu, che ton meta pisteos e flavias, che fovu theus i ondon en afto, tu kiriu dei thomen. Iria leiso. I per tu resine mas uvo pasis, flipsios ugis, kindinu ke anagis, tu kiriu dei thomen. Iria leiso. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. For a Christian enter our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Come, Mary, most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 
through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you One mind we may confess. Yes, we may. Yes, we may. Yes, we may. Let us be attentive. All together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand or I, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Us, us, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you in all place of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension invisible, beyond understanding existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom, which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things that we know and do not know. For blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels, by tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <laughs> You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself 
himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands. And giving thanks, he blessed, he sanctified, he broke it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete faiete tutum estito soma to iperimon kolomenon isafes in amartion. Take it, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, after supper, pietex of tu pandes tu tu estito emma muto tis genis dia thikis to iperimon ke polon echi nomenon isafes in amartion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, and the enthronement at the right hand of God the Father, and saying, we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Thus I ton son, si prosferomen kata panda ke di apanda. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts you're presented. Father, bless the Holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for the whole world, for the holy, for the forefathers, for those who repose in the faith, fathers, forefathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Παναγία στα θράντο, υπερευλογημένη σε δόξο δε σφίγγε σιμών θεοτόπου, καή Παρθένο Μαρία. Ωι, Γιώργη Πρεσδέρα, Αθανάσιο, Γιώργη Αναστάσιο, Αλεξάνδρα Θεοδόρα, Αθανάσιο, ο Πρίστ, Αρτέμινο Πρεσδέρ, Ιάννη Αθανάσιο, Σάκρατη, ο Πρίστ, Κύρο, Χάρι, Χαλάδομο, Γιώργη, Γκάτ. O Mother who are blessed, Alexandra, Stephanos, who have given birth in Constantine, a Cleopatra, most wondrous. James, for those who have fallen asleep, and grant them rest, our God, where the light of your countenance shines, Sophia and Gus. We and again, we ask you to remember all Orthodox Christians, Brother Jesus, who are the Lord of the Holy Spirit, and 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 for all those in public service, permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember those of each of us calls to mind and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches, and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. And we pray, O Lord, for your servants, those enduring religious persecution throughout the world, for peace in the world, for peace in the Middle East, in the Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors, for the servants of God, Adhiros, Sophia, Laddie, Alexandra, Marlene, Mary Jane, Pete, Dimitri, Peter, Melanie, Talia, Elena, Alex, 
Alexandra, Gloria Stavros, George, Nicholas, Mary Ellen, Barbara, Chris, Beth, Spiridon, Bill, the servant of God, Theodoros, Ioannis, Don, Theodore, Luigi, Evdokia, Katerina, Stavros, Luke, and Katerina. And grant. And grant that with one voice we may praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. With your spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. A blessing to be here this morning with all of you as we celebrate this great feast of St. John the Baptist, which is always celebrated the day after Epiphany, we give glory to our Lord God and Savior and wish all those a chronia pola for are here. We have a very busy day, as you know, at St. Mark. We have our beautiful Epiphany luncheon taking place in the hall, sponsored by our Philoptikos. There are over 290 people that have tables right now. There are 10 reservations left, so if you'd like to, when you go out, you can go inside, and the beginning of the hall, there'll be a table for you if you'd like to. A reminder that our Sunday church school children from 6th to 12th grade will remain in church for a short lesson with Father Alex. The 1st through 5th graders will go up to the loft, and there is no Sunday church school today for the pre-K and the kindergarten classes. Today we honor many things, but today we honor our young people who participated in our winter youth rally. I'm going to ask them to come forward. They're all there here, the boys are, but also those also, and the advisors and the coaches. And this is very important, and I'm going to share with you why. It's a beautiful opportunity of us that 35 of our young people, 35 Goyans, that's a record number, with 10 advisors and coaches went to Atlanta. They got up early in the morning on the 27th of December, and they flew to Atlanta. Then from there, they spent the next three days not resting, but first and foremost, fellowshipping with 550 young people from throughout the metropolis. It's the biggest event with our young people in the metropolis for our Goya. Then following that, they participated which I like to always put first, in Bible Bowl. Next year I want to win, by the way. In basketball and in volleyball, both girls and co-ed. It was indeed such a blessing. Father Alex, our advisors and our coaches, I've retired from going. It's very nice. My kids are grown, so Father Alex gets to go. And we wanted to honor these beautiful, beautiful people because honestly, the most important thing is for them to participate they have to be in church and participating in Sunday church school. They all come every week to Sunday school. They come and they dance. They come and they come for practices each and every week. May God bless them. We are so indeed proud of them for all their efforts, and we thank them for being the light, a true light in a time of darkness in the world. God bless them all. Let's give them a round of applause, please. And I have to give one more shout out, of course, to our advisors, because they give up their time for after Christmas when we're all resting and relaxing. They are there celebrating on the day of St. Stephen's, the patron of our camp. God bless you all. Thank you for everything you do. God bless you all. I'm going to remind, of course, that today, we're also going to do the affirmation of office for our parish council. The important thing is, as you see these men and women coming up to receive the affirmation of office, I want to highlight two things. At St. Mark, we have a very strong statement that we make about parish council, and that is, don't run for the parish council to get involved, but get involved, become a leader, and then run for the parish council. And that's what we do here at St. Mark. Every one of these men and women who are here are involved not only in Sunday worship, but they lead a ministry of the church. That is the most important thing that we can be doing from a parish council perspective. We oversee the finances, the administration, but first and foremost, they represent you, and they are leaders in all of the ministries of the church. Behind them, you will see Father Alexander, Father Dean, Father Jim, 
Father Jim Dukas, who's coming out, Deacon Brian. Together up there, Father Alex and I, we're the young ones in the faith, in the priesthood. We're the ones who guide these beautiful people 25 years, four years, right? But these men back here have served probably together 270 years, we figured out. So there's 270 years of blessings behind us. What we are going to do is turn and face the altar, and we are going to read the affirmation of office together, and our senior clergy will be here praying that God will give you all strength to do according. Please put your hand on the gospel and or on a shoulder and repeat after me. Just hold it like this. I do solemnly affirm that I will uphold the dogma, teaching traditions, holy canons and worship, holding hands in worship and moral principles, moral principles of the orthodox church of the orthodox church as well as the constitutional charter and character as well as the constitutional charter in america discipline, discipline and, regulations and regulations of the greek orthodox archdiocese of america of the greek orthodox archdiocese of america and i will faithfully fulfill and i will faithfully fulfill and sincerely the duties, the duties and obligations, obligations required, required of a member of the parish council of St. Mark. A member of the parish council of St. Mark. So help me God. So help me God. May our Lord bless them, give them strength, guidance, and most importantly, as we pray before each of our parish council meetings, we pray that our Lord will give us strength to always represent the people of God. <laughs> May our Lord grant them strength and peace as they faithfully serve you all and Jesus Christ. Amen. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our, love, that our God, who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May return sit down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, oh Lord. <laughs> Μετά παρησία ακατακρίτω στο λμάν επικαλείστε σε τον επουράνιο Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγει. Together, Πατριμόν, ο εντή ουρανή, αεστήτω το όνομά σου, ερθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθήτω το θέλημά σου, ω εν ουρανό και επί τη ζή, τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, δώσει μην σήμερον και άφεση μην το εφελήμετα ημών. Ω και εμεί αφήμεν του οφελέτου ημών, και μη ει ενέγγυση μα εσπειρεσμών, αραρίσε μα από του πονερού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Are you created? Let us bow our heads.
guides to the Lord. The guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the of each of us. Sam, those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and our bodies. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from the glory of place, and from the glorious son of your kingdom, you are enthroned on high with the Father, and you are visible, and present among us. Come and sanctify us, let your pure light and precious blood be given to us and through us, to all the world. Amen. Let us be attentive, proscomen. This is the holy gifts. For the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed. Broken yet not divided. For every you never consume. Sanctify those who partake of it. Jesus. The cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The fullness of faith, full of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy. My brothers in con celebration. Forgive me, Mark, your worthy priest. My brothers and sisters in Christ. Forgive me, Mark, your worthy priest. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and our God. The precious most holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is getting marked in with a priest for the remission of sins and life is taken away. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That amazing, prophetic, strong statement from St. John the Baptist enables us, gives us so much hope as a fulfillment of the Old Testament, bringing us and ushering in to the New Testament. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So powerful. And why is that? We know, of course, looking into the Old Testament, that the people of the day would offer lambs as a sacrifice to God upon the altar. They would offer the lamb to them. And it wasn't until Jesus Christ came that He offered Himself, God the Father, His Son, as a bloodless sacrifice. Behold the Lamb of God. So John the Baptist and I kind of point a little bit to the icon because it's so magnificent. You see John the, Bapti the Baptist baptizing Jesus Christ. John the Baptist was doing work for the kingdom of God. He was awaiting the Messiah. He was awaiting for the one who would come into the world. He had disciples. He had followers. And it's truly amazing. He had many followers that were following him. And he was baptizing them with water. But he says something so powerful today. And he says, I baptize with water. But the one who comes after me baptizes by the Holy Spirit. Baptizes and asks the Holy Spirit to come down. He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. So watch. The icon of Jesus being baptized by John, you see a dove coming down. That dove is the Holy Spirit. So the icon of Epiphany, Theophany, of the baptism is an icon of the Trinity. We don't depict God the Father as an old man in images. The churches, although some old churches have had that in years past, it's a not canonical thing. We don't do that. But rather, icons of the Trinity are where we see the manifestation of all being present. The hospitality of Abraham from the Old Testament. We would also say that the baptism can be an icon of the Holy Trinity. Why is that? Because we know that Jesus was baptized. A voice from heaven was heard saying, Behold, this is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. And then 
the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, was all revealed in the icon of the Trinity. Thus, thus, we can say glorify the triune God each and every time. St. Basil the Great, whose memory we commemorated on January 1st, Chronia Polofer of the Vasilios and Basils, by the way, he writes something beautiful. In identifying Jesus as the Lamb of God, he identifies as the Lamb of God. St. John the Baptist illuminates the transformative nature of Christ's role. And this is important, his role, not merely as a teacher, not merely as a healer, not merely as a holy man, but he illuminates the transformative nature of Christ as the one who takes away the sins of the world, the Messiah, the anointed one, Jesus Christ. He is the one now that when we give of ourselves to him, he leads us, guides us, walks with us toward eternal life, paradise. The doors of, op- uh, doors of paradise are now open for all. So this statement, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, is so powerful. We don't just say it, but we have to truly, truly believe it. Behold the Lamb of God. When we receive communion, we should be telling ourselves and praying to ourselves, behold the Lamb of God. You're receiving the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not a mere set statement, not just a small little proclamation, but a powerful statement that says that Jesus Christ is the King, the Messiah, the Anointed One. So the day after the major feast of Epiphany, we celebrate the minor feast, which would be, who's the minor figure in this icon? St. John. Minor, I don't mean in a derogatory way, but minor meaning not the central figure. So St. John then we celebrate on January 7th as well as in June when he actually died and went to heaven, we would say. And when I think about this day, the importance of epiphany, the importance of baptism, it reminds me so much of our own baptismal vows. But I want to share with you something that really hit home with me, and it was about 30 years ago. But as Edetta and I decided at age 22, 21, that we were going to go to Kenya. We were going to go to Africa on a mission trip. We had the support of our parents, of course, as we were young at that point, but they also told us, please be careful. We said, we're going to go. We spent 33 days in Kenya, traveling around to the different villages, teaching the Word of God. Now, you can say, what can a 22-year-old teach the Word of God to people? It was very intimidating, but we approached it with much humility, with fear. But it was interesting. When we showed up at village after village, we would drive up. Sometimes we would drive for three to four hours in a big truck with the eight of us on our team, Kamal. Kamal was a little boy that always accompanied us and was with us, and we pray for him always, Kamal. And also about 25 seminarians from Makario Seminary in Nairobi. So we would all, and when I say jump into this back of a truck, we would do so. We would be crammed in here for three to four hours driving on these roads. But every time we came to a village, something unique and special happened. And I can tell you, it was the most transforming experience of our lives. Every time we drove into the village, you started hearing singing. You started hanging, hearing the beautiful Kenyans singing in their own language hymns to God in Swahili. And they started doing so over and over until we actually were ushered in to the middle of the village. And we would be brought into the middle of the village. The Bishop Magadios, now Archbishop Magadios, was there with us. And we would all begin the ceremonial dance. And we would dance, why? They would say, because we are dancing with joy today. We are dancing with love. We are rejoicing because God sent you in our midst. And it was a powerful thing. We would go to each of the villages and we would spend 30 minutes dancing and the bishop would be the first one out there dancing the traditional hymns. But the next day, something awesome happened. Baptisms would take place. They were waiting for us to come to baptize. So therefore... The archbishop, the bishop then, all the clergy and us would gather around a river. And about a hundred Kenyans would be baptized into the faith. They were being catechized for months ahead of time, just like we do here at St. Mark. They were being catechized 
And they were being brought to the river, and thus then the bishops and the priests were praying that these waters become like the waters of the River Jordan, and they were baptized into the faith. And every year in Epiphany, I am reminded of this awesome event that takes place, because it reminds us truly that God is so good. It reminds us that He gives so much to us, and all we do is give this much back to Him. But we are called in our living. We are called to give of ourselves. Behold the Lamb of God. We celebrate every time there's a feast of the church. We should celebrate, not just let's go to church. Let's celebrate. We fast and we feast. Today we feast because today Jesus, we commemorate this time, was baptized in the River Jordan. Behold the Lamb of God. We feast today because St. John the Baptist baptized Him and we recognize Him. Behold the Lamb of God. We feast because we give glory to God. So today, wherever you may be, dance in your hearts, dance in your homes, dance because the risen Lord has come to all of us. The Lord was baptized in the River Jordan, and we too were given that opportunity to be baptized in the River Jordan with all of those beautiful people who surround you, with the hundreds and hundreds of Kenyans that we went with, and we were baptized. And I want to share with you that one morning toward the end, it was almost at the end of our trip, it was a Sunday morning, and we rose early. We had our mosquito netting, our sleeping bags on the floors. There were, I remember, slugs waking up with slugs next to us. It was very primitive. But we woke up, and they said to us, today we're going to walk to church. And I said, that's beautiful. We're going to walk. We're not going to take the truck. So they said, rise up, we're going to walk. And I said, well, where is the church? They said, it's right over there, over that hill. That hill was a mountain. That was three and a half hours of walking to receive the body and blood of Christ. And we didn't do it alone. We did it with a hundred Kenyans behind us because they said there is a priest in that village and we must give thanks to God. So we got up and we walked for three and a half hours. Thanks be to God that there was a truck to drive us home afterwards. <laughs> But indeed, that gives us the glimpse. So some people have said to me, Father, I think it's wonderful that we support home outreach, but why do we do outreach in other lands? First and foremost, because Jesus Christ tells us to go there for and baptize in all nations. So why at St. Mark are we building a St. Mark church in Kenya? Behold the Lamb of God. We are doing so to help them in their faith. Help them grow closer. Help them be baptized like all of us to walk closer to God, so thus opening the doors of paradise for them. That's why we are building this church in Kenya. We are so close. Today, all of the proceeds from the Epiphany Lunch and from our Afloptikos will go. But there's about, I would say, 600 people here today. There's about 300 people going there. So if you're not going to that luncheon, as you're leaving church today, you're going to be given an opportunity to make a donation for that St. Mark Church. Give from your heart. Give knowing that the Lamb of God is present in our midst. Give knowing that Jesus Christ will transform this St. Mark Church in Kenya, in the Eldoret Diocese, and that it will serve to bring thousands to Jesus Christ. And thousands, thus to paradise. May we all be blessed. I leave you with these words, and I ask you to let them resonate in your hearts. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, 
but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Faith, love, draw near. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. The righteous will be remembered forever, forever. His descendants will be mighty in the land, and the generation of the upright will be blessed. are in his house and his righteousness endures forever. in the darkness for the upright. The Lord is gracious, merciful, and righteous. tidings, his heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The righteous will be remembered forever, forever. We see Remember me, O Lord, 
Let's exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from all my fears he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. Let the lonely hear and be glad. When the out the Lord and rescue from all stress, I will bless the Lord. His encamped around those who fear him to rescue them taste and see the Lord is good happy are they who take refuge in him I will bless the Lord at all times his praise be ever on my lips my soul will glory Save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance. And your baptism in the Jordan, O Lord, the worship of the true Trinity was made manifest for the Father's voice. to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken in the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory. 
to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, but now and to the ages. We pause and offer memorial prayers, a 40-day memorial for Alexandros Kokinelis, a two-year memorial for Helen Slider, a two-year memorial for Evanthea Stergiu and Vasilios, her husband, a four-year memorial a three-year memorial for Sortana Dukidis, a three-year memorial for Dimitrios Petas, a seven-year memorial for Stephanos Haji George, and a nine-year memorial for Fortini Yorgiadis. May our Lord give them all eternal rest in his kingdom. <laughs> Istin Makaria joint in Parasi Philanthrope. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest. To the souls of your servants, you alone, O Lord, are immortal. Oxa Patrike, Oca, Iop Nevmatis, Io Theos, Simon, O Catavasis, Hathit, Ketas Odinas, Lisa, Stop me, Pedimenon. Αυτός και τα ψυχά στον ουλόν σου σώτεραν απαψών. Forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, O Christ, we pray to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. So God, according to your great mercy, we pray to hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Alexandros, Helen, Avandathia, Vasilios, Sultana, 
Demetrios, Stephanos, and Photoni, who have fallen asleep and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May, God, Lord, may the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Is the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world, Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, Alexandros, Helen, Evanthea, Vasilios, Sultana, Dimitrios, Stephanos, Fotini, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of no refreshment, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no person who lives that does not sin except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. <laughs> Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπω μεν, συν τον άρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι, νυν και αγί, και Ιησούς αιώνα στον αιώνο. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you, O Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the rest of these your servants who have fallen asleep, and unto you we ascribe glory with your eternal Father, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. <laughs> that we're going to cut for our ministry leaders. And a special thank you to Maria Kukoris for making these beautiful, magnificent, and they've been smelling beautiful during the whole service, Vasilopita. O Lord our God, who fix times and seasons by your own authority, and in your hands hold our life, hear us who pray to you on this auspicious day as we enter this new year of your goodness. Bless the breads offered for your glory and honoring our Father among the saints, Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea in Cappadocia. Look down from holy heaven, O great and giver of gifts. Let your heavenly gift descend upon those who have prepared it and upon those who will partake of it. For these breads, bless their comings and goings, fill their lives with all that is good. Guide their steps that they may fulfill your divine commandments. For man shall not live by bread alone. By the intercessions of your all pure, Mother of our Father among the saints, Basil the Great, and of all the saints, amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who was baptized in the river 
Jordan by John, for our salvation, Christ our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of His most pure and holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, whose memory we commemorate today, of our Father among the saints, of the triumphant martyrs of Joy Kimenana, of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, and of all those saints we celebrate today. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect you, all of you. Amen. A chronia pola for all of those who celebrate today, Johns, and also the Jordans from yesterday, the Fortinis. May God bless you, grant you many years, and a reminder as you go next door, there is no coffee hour, but we have 300 people who are going to be going to our Epiphany Luncheon. We want to welcome one more time our visitors, Victor and Janet Minas from Toronto. Glenn and Paragon and Diane Papacristo from Tallahassee, Thaisa Fizis from New York, and also our beautiful clergy who are with us, Father Dean and Presidenta Cindy, Father Jim and Presidenta Bia. We know Father Alexander is always here with us, and Presidenta Mary, Father Jim and Presidenta Goldie Dukas, and all of you. May God bless you. Kali a blessed new year. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. For those of you with Koliva, you may pick it up next to the bookstore. There'll be a little table there, and that's where you can pick it up. May God bless you all. And a reminder, 6 through 12. Father Alexander and Father Jim will give Andidron. Father Alex will meet with the I will bless you all. Bless the O Christ our God, we ask you to bless the food and drink of these your servants, multiply it to those who are less fortunate throughout the world, and bless the hands that prepared it, for you are holy now and ever into the ages of ages. May our Lord give you Thank you. Okay.